let's go ahead and start. Let's start in mountain pose. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> and as we just continue to arrive in the space, and prepare for our practice today, just take a few deep breaths. Might breathe in deeply through your nose. You can exhale through your nose or out through your mouth with a soft sigh. Feel that nice release. You might do that again. Breathe in, full breath in, and a complete breath out. And just continue with slow, steady breaths, mindful of how you're feeling. Even do a little check-in if you need to move around, a little body scan from head to toe. And eventually you might just come to stillness, but feel free to continue that body scan and any light movement that would feel good for you. All with the intention of being more aware of yourself, being more present and connected. still holding in mountain pose, just breathe in and fill up your lungs. Nice, full, expansive breath. And then with your exhale, draw your navel inward toward your spine, connecting to your core body, your center. Get a nice, full breath in. You might feel a lengthening in your spine as you fill up your lungs. And your exhale. That light contraction of your abdominal muscles, the abdominal lock. Be aware of that sensation. We'll be focusing on our core center today. Good. Let's take three more breaths. And with these breaths, prepare your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Just treat it like a nice stretch all the way up we go. And exhale, fold forward. So we're hinging at the hips with soft knees. Guide your way down. Even a partial fold is appropriate here. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, your knees, and extend your spine. Feel like you're coming forward. Then exhale, just melt your way back down to your forward fold. You might bend your knees enough to touch your toes or keep it a partial fold with your hands resting on your shins or knees. We'll hold here for several breaths, just so you can feel that natural lengthening down through your hamstrings, perhaps down through your back. A heaviness in the upper body as you hang heavily forward. And just feel the weight of the body. Let gravity draw you downward. You might gently circle your head or nod yes, shake your head no. Just checking in with your neck and shoulders, even circle your shoulders. And if it feels all right, a little sway of your whole upper body, just left and right. Let's do another halfway lift. You'll inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees. Hold here on the exhale, so we're forming a long tabletop parallel to the floor. Feel the feet rooted into the mat, a natural softness in the knees, but still feel the hamstrings, they're naturally engaging to hold you in place. And with an extra emphasis on the exhale, draw your belly button up towards your spine in this case to engage your core center. Now ready to stand, shifting your weight into your heels, bend your knees, feel like you're gonna sit down, lift your chest, spread your wings, and rise up with an inhale all the way up, a good stretch, yes. Exhale, you can bring your hands down to your heart or arms down to your side. Just finishing that sequence, our half salute to the sun. Nice breath, good. 
Let's do that once again. Whenever you're ready to move, inhale, reaching into the air, lengthening through the sides of your body. Exhale, fold forward. Always okay to take your time, bend your knees. Inhales, rise up halfway. A little telescope sensation of the body as you feel the torso extend. Exhale and fold. Just melt your way back down as you're, as you're able to complete release here at the end. That same weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, lifting the chest, arms out to the side with an in-breath to rise up, reaching into the air, and exhale, hands to heart or arms to your side. Perfect. Good. We'll hold here for a moment, deepening this connection, greater awareness of self. Let's just carry that forward in our practice. Continuing with our sun salutes, inhale, reaching into the air, reach a little higher as you're able, exhale, fold forward, or swan dive forward. Inhale, rise up halfway, I might even call it monkey pose at times, our flat back, exhale, all the way down we go, low enough to place your hands on your mat, walk, step, or even hop your feet back to the back end of your mat, draw a straight line in the body, you'll form plank pose. Let's take a breath in. When you exhale, bend your knees a little, send your hips up into the air. Our shortcut to downward facing dog. Adjusting your feet, adjust your hands as you need to. Another body scan, just notice how this feels, how your body is responding to this inverted posture. And then as you'd like, add movement, anything that feels good, feels right <clears throat> for your body at this moment. Good, preparing your body to move. Just start with a nice full breath in as you're able, fill up your lungs. Exhale, same core engagement. With that, bend your knees, walk, step, or hop both feet up to the top of your mat, returning to your forward fold. We'll extend the spine, monkey pose, or half forward fold. Exhale, back down we go. That same weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive, grow tall, reach up high. This exhale will take chair pose, utkatasana. Right there, yes. That weight shift into the hips and heels that might even allow your toes to lift or tap. We'll breathe in right here. And exhale, once again, dive forward. Forward fold, inhale, lengthening up halfway. Exhale, all the way down we go. Hands out in front, hop or step back into plank pose. Pause for a moment, take a breath. With the exhale, draw belly button up towards spine. The next breath. You might move right away into downward facing dog, or if you'd like, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs to finish the push up. Come down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to a back bend. It could be a low cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, and inhale to extend your right leg up behind you. Find the wall back there. Good, exhale, send right foot to the top of the mat. Take your time with that transition. Even pick up the foot to place it there. Left heel will turn to the floor, find your center. Hands will be light so you can hinge from hips with a straight spine, reaching into the air. There's our first warrior. And exhale, hinge through the body, fold hands to the mat. Slide the right foot back, there's plank. Finishing the push up if you'd like, or right away to downward facing dog if you're taking a shortcut or any movement, any flow you want to add right here. And then arriving in downward facing dog. And once we're here, an inhale to extend left leg up, energetically reaching for that back wall. Exhale at step through, left foot to the top of the mat. Take your time, right heel plants into the floor, centering the body. Elongate through the torso, inhale, hinge from hips rising up. Reach up, energy in the arms, hands and fingers. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Plant the hands, slide that left foot back. Plank pose, finish the sequence as you like. If you're doing chaturanga, you can always bring knees to the floor first, then the chest. Give you a low cobra for your back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Couple breaths once you arrive in down dog. Still wanna feel that sensation of filling up the lungs with the in breath. Exhaling to engage core, navel towards spine, the abdominal lock. 
Now we're going to make our way down to the ground. Just bend your knees, kneel, kneel down for a moment. We're going to take a seat. So maybe sit back and then off to the side. We'll bring the legs around to the front. And scoot forward so you're sitting in the center of your mat and carefully roll down onto your back. Let's bring knees into chest. A little rocking or any movement. So check in with your low back and hips. And since your feet are free, you might even circle the ankles, flex the feet, point your toes, even wiggle the toes. We'll eventually move into bridge pose, but we're going to do a little core work before we rise up into that back bend. So we'll start by setting the feet on the ground. Arms just down by your side. Just soften the body for a moment. Just settle in. And we're going to create what I call a low bridge. You'll inhale and just arch your back, meaning your low back will lift away from the floor. S stay seated on the mat so your bottom's still on the ground. You're just arching the back. Okay, and so if you could, if you took your hand, you can slide it underneath your low back area. That's the inhale. Then the exhale, press the low back down into the floor. So you're making that contact. It's really a pelvic tilt and movement to create that sensation. So it's an inhale to create that low bridge. Low back lifts away from the floor. Exhale, press the low back into the ground. Kind of create that rocking sensation, so feel the movement of the pelvis. Be aware of that exhale, the air leaving, belly or the low back pressing into the floor, and the belly button drawing down towards the spine to create that engagement. Do that a couple more times. <clears throat> that rocking sensation. And on the third one, we'll inhale, same low bridge feeling. Exhale, press low back into the floor. Keep that sensation but keep, and keep breathing. But the low back is still pressing into the floor. So we've kind of hollowed out the belly, still breathing. Now breath has to kind of bypass the belly and right up into the chest, so really fill up your lungs with the in-breath. And with the exhale, still feel that contraction of the abdominal muscles. Still tilting the pelvis a bit more. You're really just flexing muscles here. All right, same thing. Stay here as you inhale. When you exhale, feel that same engagement. Now this time, pressing feet into the floor to lift the hips away from the floor. So we're moving into our bridge pose. So we've lifted, adjust the feet if you need to, even adjust your arms. You might even get your arms and shoulders underneath you if you're able. That might require rocking your whole upper body left and right several times to get your arms a bit more underneath you. Use your hands if you need to help lift yourself up or hold yourself up, that's fine. Your arms might even stay flat on the ground or bend your arms so that your elbows and triceps are pressing down into the mat. Your arms are at 90 degrees and that should stabilize the upper body. So we're gonna back bend or heart opener. Now imagine you're still lying on the floor doing that pelvic tilt, okay, like we did that low bridge to that pressing into the floor. But now we're in bridge pose, but see if you can still kind of work that same sensation, especially with the exhale. Now you scoop the pelvis, and what you're doing with that sensation is creating a bit more space in the low back. All right, one more breath and we'll come out of the pose. And we'll wiggle the feet forward, making space in the low back. Extend your arms up into the air, getting the shoulders out from underneath you and then roll your way down to the ground. Let's extend the body, reaching the arms behind you, extend the legs out front, reach and stretch. Take a nice deep breath, very engaging postures there. Go ahead and hug your knees into chest. Hold that for a moment as the body's still kind of recuperating after that bridge pose. Then start rocking forward and back to rock your way up to seated or roll to one side to lift yourself up to seated. Now for our boat, let's start with the feet on the floor, feet flexed, heels on the floor here. Feet flex, knees bend, just hold on beneath the knees here and just lift yourself up and imagine you're up against a wall, so a nice straight spine. And an inhale is going to help with that extension. 
And the exhale, same engagement. Draw belly in. You can always breathe out through the mouth. And feel that contraction. This could be boat pose. And just to add more energy to it and even more of a challenge to we just start to lean back. Just making sure your spine's still straight. Even just a little bit works. Inhale more length. Exhale, engage, locking it in place. And with that locking supportive sensation, maybe tipping back a little bit more. Throughout, you can keep the heels on the ground or start walking the heels towards yourself. Okay, the more weight that goes back that way, the feet will just start to float into the air if you'd like. Holding on, maintaining the length and spine. Inhale with that. Exhaling, blow it out, contract. If you need to rest, just bring the heels back down. We are holding these a little bit longer today. Another challenge, of course, is releasing the legs and free up the hands. Let's move from here. Breathe in. And the exhale, cross legs. Hands out in front or even to the side so you can get the feet back behind you. Hop back or step back or swing the feet back. Plank pose. Hold. Still feeling that core engagement. Inhaling to get longer through the entire body. Exhale, pull the belly button up towards spine. Let's set the right knee onto the floor directly underneath the hip. Let's swing the right knee, or sorry, right foot out to the right side, making a kickstand. We'll open up towards the left side of the room, left hand reaching into the air for our side plank. That's it. Reaching up initially. You can certainly reach over your head towards the front of the room if you'd like. We're still thinking about the center here, so imagine you're wearing a belt and you're moving your belt buckle forward towards that left wall. Kind of pushing the pelvis forward. Breathing in right where we are. Exhale, soften and return to the earth. Left hand, left knee. Bring that right kickstand back in. While we're here, let's take cat and cow. So an inhale, lifting head and heart, arching the back. Exhale, round it out. Now we're just exact, we're doing, we're just mimicking what we did on the floor. That rocking of the pelvis creates a little back bend, like that low bridge. And the exhale into cat pose, like we're pressing the low back into the floor. So very similar movements of the body. So think about that pelvic motion. Inhale and exhale. Take one more breath. Pause in this tabletop position, and we'll do the other side. When you're ready, just make a kickstand with the left foot. We'll extend the right leg back, keeping the toes on the floor, and then just open up to your right side of the room. Right hand can reach up initially towards the ceiling or even over your head if you'd like. Same thing with the belt buckle, just push forward. Keep the good extensions of the arms, even that back leg, that right leg. The foot can still be on the floor. Just make sure it feels extended. Here we go, breathing in. And our exhale to lightly return to the floor with the right hand, right knee, bring the kickstand back in. How about three breaths, cat and cow, just to get that undulation of the spine again. Feeling that core engagement in cat pose. And also to realign the body. After that third breath, another pause in our tabletop. Let's take it into downward facing dog when you're ready. Tucking toes, lifting knees and hips. That nice extension of the torso as the hips lift up. Let's continue. Inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Nice extension. Let's open this up. So bend your right knee, bring your heel, yes, down toward your backside. A little lift of the knee. We'll create a twist in a hip opener, twist in the spine, hip opener, good. Breathing in, nice. Exhale, unwind so you can step through. Back to our warrior one setup. Right foot forward, left heel to the floor. Find your centering and good balance. Then float your way up. There it is, warrior one. And our exhale opening to warrior two. Take the time, yes, to adjust the feet. Solid foundation, good alignment. Right knee and toes pointing forward, good. That's it. <clears throat> Depending how you are shaped, because we're all shaped differently through the torso and pelvis, my, I have a sway in my back, and so my pelvis kind of wants to tip forward, this way. So I have to emphasize tucking underneath. 
you get the tailbone to point downward. And that also engages core. So just kind of feel what your body needs to do or wants to do in that, this condition. Let's take our side angle reaching forward a little and rotate. The arms reach down, reach up. Stay up as high as you'd like. Go down as low as you'd like. There, nice. Good variations with the arm braced against the inner leg or right arm on the thigh. That works very nicely. That's the same opening sensation, very similar to that side plank pose we did. Okay, breathing in. And our exhale, we'll carefully turn and fold, hands to the floor. We're going to step back into plank pose, but keep the right foot lifted just a few inches off the floor. Nicely extended, lifted right foot and leg, reaching back through your toes or the heel. Inhale, get a little longer as you're able. With the exhale, let's bring this right knee towards right elbow. Doesn't have to touch it, just bring it in towards the elbow and then re extend the leg back behind you. Set the toes onto the floor. Take a shortcut to downward facing dog. You can always rest if you need to. There's a lot of work on the hands right now. Here we go. Inhale, extend left leg into the air, reach. Nice extension and the hip opener. Bend the knee, lifting the knee slightly. That will create the natural rotation and hip opener. Good. There it is. Breathing in right where you are. Your exhale to unwind. Twisted spine, stepping through left foot to the top of the mat. There it is, good, good control. Right heel to the floor, centering your body, rising when you're ready with an in-breath. And exhale, expand and open to your warrior two. Adjusting, settling in. Now it might feel different on this side, as far as the legs are concerned, even the pelvis, just depending on your flexibility of the legs here. Do you still need to tuck pelvis under? I know I do. Do you feel like there's enough space in your low back and do you feel like your low belly is engaged? Let's follow the left arm forward, angled upper body, rotating here to Parshva Konasana or side angle pose. Staying up high, that's nice. Or maybe slowly and carefully getting a little lower only if it feels good for your hips, your legs, the sides of your body. And we're taking a breath in and our exhale, a careful turn, hands to the floor here, back to our plank pose, this time keeping the left foot lifted, just an inch or so off the ground. Strong core connection, extended body, we're inhaling to keep that extension. Exhale, let's bend the left knee, bring it in towards the left elbow. Let's re-extend the leg straight back and set the toes down. Take another shortcut to downward facing dog. Let's breathe in and exhale, walk, step or hop both feet up to the top of the mat to a forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold, rounded spine. Your weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Here we go, row tall, reach up very high. Exhale, you can bring your arms down to your side. Very good, all righty. Already building some good strength and energy in the body. Let's take our balancing poses, tree pose. So starting in mountain pose, softening the knees a little bit. Let's put some weight into the right foot, getting a nice grounded sensation, lengthen the spine with the in-breath. Exhale, engage. Then we can pick up that left foot, flexing the foot to keep the leg energized. Maybe the thigh is parallel to the floor. We're taking the knee out at, a, at an angle or even out to the side, whatever your hip does. And placing foot good on the inside of the standing leg. Yeah, high is fine, above, above the knee. Try to bypass the knee and have foot on the calf area or use the floor. Inhale, let's extend the arms up into the sky. Once they're up, maybe a little extra lift. Yeah, rising up more space through the sides of the body, especially around this belt line. Inhaling, helping the arms in the air help us to grow tall. Then, of course, still that core engagement. Even with the knee bent and out to the side, can you still uh, tuck pelvis under? Might even help to engage a bit more. Yeah, we're holding it a little bit longer. All right, arms stay extended. We'll swing that left knee forward, lifting knee flexed foot hold. 
Then we'll place it on the floor, arms to your side, finished. Shake it out, let it go. Yeah, walk it out. Okay. So be aware when you're in that tree pose, a couple things. I don't think anyone does this, but bring your foot to the leg. I'm kind of doing it now. You just kind of you plant yourself into your other hip. It actually helps you to balance. <laughs> okay. But we're trying to lift up out of that. That's the challenge. And then for me, I know I, I need to tuck. <laughs> okay. Engage here. So playing with those pieces of the posture. Okay. Soft knees. Weight shift into left foot. Press. Getting tall. Core connected with the exhale. Break it down as you need to. Floating the right foot up. Here's the hip opener. And then foot to the inner leg. High, medium, or low. You can always hold it up high if you need to hold it there. Beware if you drop into the opposite hip. Okay. Try to lift up. Lock it. Arms into the air with the in-breath. Exhale. Continue to lock. Check in with the pelvis. I think the pelvis, it means bowl. Pelvic Pelvis means bowl in Latin. So think of that as a bowl. In which way is it tipping? Arms stay extended. We'll swing that right knee forward now, lifting the knee with the flexed foot with a brief, brief pause. And then plant the foot. Arms back down to your side. Ah, letting all that go. Yes. Good. All right, back to some movement here. Whenever you're ready, reaching into the air in breath. Exhale, chair pose, weight shift back into the hips and heels. Maybe sitting a little deeper, but not necessary. That's it, nice breathing in. Exhale, diving out of your seat, forward fold. Monkey pose, inhale, slide your hands up to the shins, crown leads you forward. Exhale, all the way down we go. Find the ground, plant the hands, hop or step back, plank pose. Finish the push up if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Find a back bend that feels good right here. In, inhale into your back bend and exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Once in down dog, inhale, extend right leg up into the air, bend and twist open. With this exhale, you're gonna bring this right knee underneath you towards your left elbow. Same thing, just point to the left elbow, so we're crossing the midline. And then take that right leg back up into the air, return to down dog, straighten the leg. And now we'll bring right foot to the top of the mat, landing. Left heel to the floor, balancing. Here's our warrior one. Rising up. And exhale, opening to warrior two. Let's check in with the foundation, pelvis, tall torso. Here we go, side angle. Reach out, rotate here. Maybe follow the left arm overhead to get some lengthening through the left side of the body. We're still moving. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll turn and fold. Hands to the floor. Back to plank pose. Right foot lifted. A few inches off the floor. Nice extension. Once you're there, just take another inhale to get longer and stronger. Exhale, right knee towards right elbow. You might touch it, but you don't have to. Re-extend. If you'd like, you can set the toes down or keep the foot lifted. Then finish your sequence. And we'll meet together in down dog. You can always modify those. Move as you need to move. Rest when you need to rest. Other side when you're ready. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. Reach, bend and twist open. Now with this next exhale, bring the left knee underneath you towards your right elbow. Crossing the midline, it's a little core twist I call it, yes. And then re-extend the left leg up into the air, straightening the whole body. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Here we go. Warrior one setup. Perfect. Good. Right heel to the ground. Once you've found your centering, rise when you're ready. Inhale. Exhale, opening to your warrior two, checking in with your foundation. Pelvis, tall torso, long arms. Side angle, reaching out. Rotate here. Right hand will reach up and then over your head towards the front of the room extending through the right side of your body. There it is. Here we go. Breathe in or exhale, turn, fold, hands to the mat, back to plank pose, left foot lifted, straightening that line in the body. Inhale to get longer and stronger. Exhale, left knee towards left elbow. 
Take it straight back. Keep the toes lifted or set them onto the floor, then finish. Finishing your sequence. Meeting in down dog. Taking a breath or two in downward facing. We're going to return to the floor. Take a seat. You can hop forward, cross your legs and take a seat. Or kneel down and take a seat as we did before. <clears throat> as you go ahead and roll down onto your back, because we're going to do that same little setup here. So lie down, knees in towards your body for a moment, and then set the feet down. We're going to do that same rocking of the pelvis, our little low bridge workout there. So with feet on the floor, inhale, create the low bridge. So a little arch of the back. That's the in-breath. Exhale, press low back into the ground. Do that two more times. Okay, two more times. And on that second time, when you exhale, hold that position. Hold that pressing of the low back into the floor. Belly button pulls in towards spine. Of course, keep breathing. But each time you exhale, you're just engaging a tiny bit more, perhaps. Okay? Just getting stronger and stronger each time. You're just flexing muscles. It's like lifting weights. You're just getting stronger each time. Okay, another breath in, filling up the lungs. Exhale, still hollowing out the belly. Now lifting hips up into the air. Okay, back to that bridge pose. Same thing, using the backs of the arms on the floor to help lift and sustain the posture. Use your hands to help lift yourself up if you need to. Okay, there. Let's try this. You're going to step your feet closer towards yourself and rise up onto your tiptoes. Okay, so you're basically just heels are lifting. So you're walking your feet closer toward yourself so that your knees stay aligned over your ankles. So your shins are still straight up and down. And that may allow your hips to lift a little higher. Having done that, you might even feel this in your toes and calves. There it is. Three more breaths. Strong feet here, too. And then you'll step forward so your feet are flat on the ground. And arms up into the air, making space. And then slowly roll your way down to the ground. Let's do another extension of the body. Reach behind with the arms, out front with the straight legs. Back to our boat pose. So bring knees into chest. With a good exhale, rock your way up to seated, or again, just roll to one side and press yourself up. You can do that same setup here, he maybe heels on the floor, just to ensure that you're extending through the spine, inhaling to accommodate that, exhaling, engaging, and then starting that leaning back sensation. And maybe you do. Step the heels closer towards yourself until you just find you just the feet will just naturally lift. You don't have to feel like you're lifting them, but because of the balance of the body, the feet will just naturally lift. Keep hold of the legs here. What we'll do, we'll inhale and just feel like you're extending through the spine. Exhale, engage. Okay, just making sure you're really extending through the spine. Now, as you're able, let's free up the hands. We're going to inhale and push the feet forward and lean back a little bit. Exhale, bring chest and knees towards each other. It's almost like you're coming in and up. One more time. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, bring it in and up. Okay, we're going to inhale right where we are. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. Let's keep the feet back behind us. Plank pose. We're going to right side plank. The first time we brought the right knee to the floor, you certainly can do that again. Or as you're able to keep the legs straight, just spin to open up to the left side of the room with your right hand on the floor. Feet and legs can be stacked, one on top of the other, or staggered, one in front of the other. Okay? Pelvis or that belt buckle is pushing forward. What we're going to do here, as you inhale, just let that right hip kind of sit uh, sink into the floor or towards the floor. Exhale, lift that left hip towards the ceiling. So inhale, sink. Exhale, lift. 
One more. Inhale, sink. Exhale, lift. Inhale right where you are. Exhale, return to plank pose. Other side. Modified if you need to, rest if you need to. Stacked or staggered feet. Do make sure the legs are straight. If you are doing this version, flex the feet to engage. Once we're here, we're letting the left hip sink as we inhale. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, let it sink a little. Exhaling, we lift that right hip. It engages the left side. One more. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Stay here as you in inhale. Exhale, return to the earth. Plank. Let's bring knees to the floor. Take the knees wide a little bit. Child pose. So we can get off the hands, disengage a bit. Rest the hands, rest your arms and shoulders. Find your breath. breath feels in your body, finding those slow deep breaths while you're here, and then take two more of those deep breaths. Arms are behind you. Bring the arms back out in front. We're going to keep the elbows and forearms on the floor here as you rise up a little bit. And we're going to take this into dolphin pose. So your arms on the floor can be parallel to each other or you can form more of a triangle shape where the hands are closer to each other. Okay, with an exhale, with tuck toes, lift the knees and hips into the air. You might need to tiptoe forward a little bit. Keep that good bend in the knees and your hips up into the air. Your chest will kind of sink between your uh, biceps here. Really press into the floor with the hands and forearms. Try not to have too much pressure on the elbows. One more breath. And then with the exhale, just set the knees back down onto the floor. Rise up onto your hands. Lifting the elbows off the floor. And then return to downward facing dog. Continuing with an inhale to extend right leg up into the air, bend and twist. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow. Same thing, crossing the midline, core twist. Right leg back up into the air behind you, strong straight line, right foot to the top of the mat. Warrior one setup here, our basic flow. Take your time, left heel to the floor, rising when you're ready, and exhale, opening to warrior two. Side angle pose, reaching out. Let's rotate the body here, right hand down, left hand up, and then overhead, extending through the left side of the body. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll turn and fold, hands to the floor, back to plank pose, right foot lifted. Feel that nice lengthening through the body with an in-breath. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Re-extend. Finish the flow with foot up or foot down onto the mat. Finishing in downward facing dog. Okay, so it's just the same segment here. Inhale when you're ready, extend the left leg into the air, bend and twist. The exhale, left knee underneath you towards right elbow for the core twist. That's it, left leg back up into the sky behind you, rising up, you're fine. Left foot to the top of the mat when you're ready. Warrior one, plant that back heel, find your center first, rising up. Exhale, opening to warrior two. My instructions are fast, doesn't mean you have to go fast. Okay, side angle pose, reaching out, rotate here, right hand up and over, good extension, right side body, inhale, and our exhale, back to the earth with the hands, plank pose, left foot lifted, find that straight line, inhale, exhale, left knee, left elbow, re-extend, keep foot lifted or set it down, finishing your flow.
Finding yourself in down dog, nice extension of the torso. You can do that by just bending the knees a little bit more, sending the hips up a little higher, really root into the floor firmly with the hands. That same kind of sinking sensation between the arms, just as we did in dolphin. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop both feet up to the top of the mat to forward fold. Long spine, inhale. Exhale, rounded spine. In our weight, shift into the heels. Bend your knees. Inhales, grow tall. Reaching up. And exhale, arms down to your side. Alrighty. You'll be able to have two macarons. <laughs> All right. A little twisting, okay? You're welcome to use a block if you want to, placing the block between the thighs if you'd like to. Okay, whenever you're ready, we'll inhale, taking arms up. Exhale, we'll take that chair pose as you sit into that seat, bring your hands to heart center. Feeling solid and secure here. We're inhaling to extend through the spine. Exhale, draw belly in. Here's our twist or rotation to the right side of the room. Hips still feel like they're moving directly back to the back edge of your mat or even to the back wall. The crown or the top of your head feels like it's pointing and coming directly forward. So we have this twisted torso. We're breathing in. And you exhale to unwind. We'll float back up into the air, arms up into the air. Inhale. And the exhale, return to chair pose, bringing hands to your heart. Settling in, good balance. We've got a hold of the block if you've got one. Inhale, longer spine. Don't forget your core connection. Exhale, pull it in, and then the twist to your left side. Keep it mild if that feels better. No need to strain the sides of the body or your back or your hips. Here we go, breathe in, and exhale to unwind. Let's place hands on thighs. If you've got a block here, remove your block, and then we'll also just slide down to a forward fold. Just pause there for a moment. That nice release. And inhale, monkey pose, or just feel the extended spine at this low angle. Exhale, hands to the floor. We'll hop or step back into plank. Hold plank for a moment. And then we'll take hero pose. You can bring the knees to the floor, sit back into hero, only if this feels good. If you need to just sit on the floor, just sit on the floor instead of sitting like this. Do I need the block? I don't know if I need the block here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get to our same basic flow, our sequence. We'll get into a side angle pose. So we'll be here. It doesn't matter if you're high or low. I'm going to stay up high. Okay, we're going to turn this into a right side plank. My right hand's in the air, and we'll end up with the right hand on the floor. So we're going to inhale and open up more. Exhale, I'm bringing this right hand to the floor, plant it. But I need to spin that back foot. I'm just pivoting onto the toes until the toes face the other direction. Changes the hips so I can slide or pull this left foot back, stack it to open up to the side plank. If you need to, you can always just Drop that right knee carefully and open it here okay. for the side plank. But if you're here, we'll still do that little hip sink. Okay, that lift helps to engage. You get a little bend in the body. We'll engage the obliques on the other side, that working side. All righty. So from hero pose, let's bring the palms and elbows and forearms to the floor. I'm going to lift the knees and hips. You'll be in dolphin. Same thing. Making sure there's enough weight shifting forward, more towards the hands and forearms, less in the elbows. That might just mean tiptoe forward a bit more. Bend the knees more. Core engagement so you don't feel like it's all in your arms. Okay, go ahead and soften. Bring the knees back down to the floor. Lifting the elbows onto our hands again, and then downward facing dog. Same sequence, we'll add that new movement. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. That's it, right knee to left elbow, 
core twist right there. Right leg back up into the sky, straight line, inhale. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Rising, exhale, warrior two. Settle in, maybe even a little wider of a stance perhaps. Here comes your side angle. Right hand down, left hand's reaching up, so our first side plank will be our, on our left hand. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, let's bring this left hand to the floor. We need to spin on the toes behind us so we get the toes pointing in the opposite direction. If you need to bring that right hand to the floor, that's fine to help you slide that right foot, right foot back. Stacked legs or bring left knee to the floor. Here's our left side plank. With an inhale, we kind of sink the left hip. Exhale, lift the right hip up to engage the left side. Inhale, sink. Exhale, lift. One more movement. Inhale, sink. Exhale, lift. Stay here on the inhale. Exhale, return to plank pose. Follow me here. Bend your knees, send your hips to sky down dog. We're going to boat pose. You're going to hop forward, cross legs, take a seat. Or kneel down, take a seat. Right into boat pose. Okay, set it up as you did before if you want to, okay? If you feel like you can get that your body just how you like it, long spine and core engaged, energized feet. Maybe releasing here so we can do our inhale, push feet forward, lean back, even a little bit is fine. Exhale, we bring it in, all that core work. Again, pushing away, lean back, whoa. Exhale, one more. Inhale, lean back, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Next, inhale, feel like you're going up. Yes, exhale, cross legs, hands in front, step back, plank. Set the knees down, set your elbows down, return to dolphin. Just taking about three breaths in our dolphin pose. Certainly a very engaging posture. And then return to down dog. You can always set the knees down first. Lift the elbows. And return to down dog. So we can do the other side. Inhale, extend left leg up and away. Bend and twist. With the exhale, left knee towards right elbow. Back up into the sky straight line. Left foot to the top of the mount first, warrior. You've got it. Rising up, exhale, warrior two. Side angle, Parshva Konasana. Left hand down, right hand up, so this will be our right side plank. Transition, breathing in. Exhale, turn so we can bring that right hand to the floor. Spin that back foot behind you. So we can bring that left leg back, stack it on top of the other. Or bring right knee to the floor once you're in the pose. If you have straight legs, let's dip that right hip. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, sink a little. Exhale, lift. One more movement. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Stay here as you inhale. Exhale, return to plank pose. Bring knees to the floor. Bring elbows to the floor. Dolphin. Three deep breaths. After that third breath, we'll take a rest in child's pose. You might start with the arms extended out front, but that's still a little tiring for the arms since they did a lot of work, so you can always set the forehead on the floor, arms down by your side, so your hands, shoulders can really relax for a moment. And then just check in with your body. Very engaging. Engaging sequences today. Tapping into your power, your strength, raising the energy within you. Good. 
as you're able, just deepen your breathing. Since you're in this forward fold sensation, see if you can breathe into your back body, puff up your back with an in-breath. Yes, exhale. There it is. How about two more? And slowly rise up to hero pose. Go ahead and take a seat. We're just going to sit in Sukhasana. That's just easy pose. I'm going to sit on a block. You can do the same if you like. So it's just sitting with your legs crossed. Easy pose. I'm just going to do another twist. So we're just sitting up as tall as you can. Let's take the right hand and maybe place it behind you or just out to the side. This is a way to help you Keep that spinal extension. Inhale to lift. Exhale, core engagement. And begin your twist to the right. And even take the left hand. You might even grab hold or just bring the hand out to the right leg here. Just to hold you, hold you in place. As we just hold this rotation for a moment. Three more breaths. Even in the twist, you still want to feel like you're rising upward, lengthening through the spine, making as much space as you can. And that core engagement, the Uddiyana Bandha, the abdominal lock, helps to hold you in place. Okay, let's breathe in, get a little taller. Exhale, a little softening of the body so you can unwind. And just pause here as we come back to neutral. Do the other side, so maybe left hand behind you to help extend, inhale. Exhale, draw belly in, and using that sensation as you're able to turn the body first, then we'll kind of lock ourselves in place or hold ourselves in place by placing the right hand on that left thigh or knee. Okay, it's nice and tall here, good. Checking in, just a couple things. One, just hold right where you are. Or maybe you have a bit more space that you can twist into. Or maybe you've twisted a little too far. You can always soften it up. Two more breaths. We'll take a third inhale. Exhale, soften a little as you unwind. Just hold here. Easy pose for a moment. Already channeling into the body and mind this meditative state. So if you're sitting on a block, you can come off the block and just carefully make your way down onto your back. You might give yourself another hug here, add movement as it feels good. Take happy baby pose or any other hip opener that you like right here. Could be reclining cobbler's pose. More breaths. Whenever you are complete with your hip openers, if you're still working on them, keep going. Or when you're complete, knees come together so we can take our final twist, knees over to the left side as you extend your right arm off to the right. Modify this or change it up as you need to. And again, notice your breath. A little softer, slower, deeper.
two more breaths. Carefully return to center when you're ready. You might pause there to realign. And then knees to the other side. Perhaps two more breaths. When you're complete, making your way back to center, perhaps hugging knees into your body. Hold here for a moment, and here you can decide what you would like to do next. If you feel complete with your movements, you can move right into Shavasana. If you'd like to add anything here, maybe another back bend, a leg extension, inverted pose, whatever you need or would like here, just add those movements, add those postures, or anything else that might feel relieving and calming before coming to stillness in either Shavasana or another restorative pose. Return to the awareness of your breath. Just notice your breath. With this awareness, take five slow, deep breaths. Experience how your body is responding to these deep breaths. Allow this breath to move through your entire body. Start to feel movement return. Filling yourself up with these new energizing breaths. Eventually moving very slowly, rolling on one, onto one side of your body briefly here in a nurturing pose. Continue to move in slow motion from your side. Just guide your way up to a seated posture. Returning to easy pose or a half lotus. 
nice lengthened spine. Your hands can rest in your lap or bring hands to heart center, taking one more breath. And as we come to the close of this portion of our journey together, we bow saying namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.